Hello everyone and welcome to the screencast of our control system 1 simulation project on coupled oscillator. The coupled oscillator we considered is a system with two pendulums suspended from a pivot. They are coupled using a spring. At first we shall show few modes of an actual spring coupled system then we shall show our implementation. The video of the actual physical system belongs to Dr. Dan Russell from Pennsylvania State University. In the first mode, both the pendulums have initial amplitude at the same direction. In this mode, the spring doesn't oscillate. The pendulums oscillate at their natural frequency. In the second mode, the pendulums have initial amplitude in the opposite direction. The spring contracts and expands in harmonic motion. The pendulums oscillate in slightly larger frequency than its natural one. In the third mode, one of the pendulums is released from an initial position and the other is at zero position. The pendulums then transfer energy between themselves. The energy is transferred through the spring. At first, you will see that one of the pendulums is stopped and the other one is moving. After a while, the first one will start to move and the other one will slow down. Now, let's show a demonstration of our simulator. This is the simulator we have designed. On the right we have the coupled oscillator and on the left we have the control panel. The control panel lets the user set some initial values including the amplitude of the pendulums and the velocity of the pendulums. And it also lets the user set some physical parameters that are mass of the pendulums, the length of the strings and the spring constant. Now let's demonstrate the first mode of operation where the pendulums have the same amplitude in the same direction. Uh, let's give the amplitude 6 degrees in the same direction and we'll keep the velocities and physical parameters as they are. Let's start. As you can see the springs do not contract or expand. The pendulums move at their natural frequency. In the second mode of operation, the pendulums have different direction of initial amplitude. Let's give the first pendulum a positive direction and the second pendulum a negative direction. And we'll start the simulation keeping the other parameters same. As we can see, the pendulums oscillate and the spring contracts and expand. And now we'll give the first pendulum in negative direction and the second pendulum in positive direction and we will reset the simulation and we will get similar kind of oscillation. Uh, we have mentioned earlier that in this case the pendulums will move in a higher frequency which is not apparent in these parameters so we will increase the spring constant to show you that this is actually the case. Now you can see the pendulums move in a higher frequency than their natural frequency. At this point we should actually show that in the first mode of operation the spring constant does not have any effect. So we have the spring constant set to 30 as in the last demonstration and now let's set the amplitude to have the same value. And now if we reset the simulator, we should see that the pendulums move in their natural frequency, which is the case. Now we shall show the third mode of operation, which is the coupled oscillator action. In this mode, one of the pendulum will start from a zero position and the other will start from an amplitude less set it to 6 and we will keep the others as they are and we will start the simulation. As you can see the power from the left pendulum is moving toward the right pendulum and the left pendulum is slowing down while the right pendulum is getting geared up and after a while the left one has stopped and again it has started to move and this will continue 
Now let's look at the equations of motion of the system. The first equation is given for the left pendulum. This is the force on the bob. This is the uh, force due to the pendulum bob itself and this is the force due to the spring and the second equation is for the right pendulum and you can guess what the components are and, and these equations are messy as both are differential equation and each one is dependent on the variable of the other one so these are not easily solvable but we can solve them by using normal modes the normal modes are arrived by dividing the equations by m we, we have selected that both the pendulums have same mass and same length same length and after dividing the equations by m we add them and subtract them to arrive at two normal modes of equation and we define two new variables the capital x is x1 plus x2 and the small x is x1 minus x2 and we also define two new frequencies omega is equal to root over g by l which is the natural frequency of the pendulum and the small omega which is root over g by l plus twice k by m which is the modulation frequency as you can see that capital omega is the natural frequency small omega is slightly higher than the capital omega and you can actually guess that why when the spring contracts and expands the frequency is higher it is due to this modulation frequency and after expressing the equations with the normal modes we actually get very good looking equations which after solving we arrive at the equation motions of x1 and x2 which is given here and these equations can be solved for initial con initial condition to find the values of a1 a2 phi1 and phi2 and after that the whole system can be simulated we are at the end of our demonstration uh, let's give some concluding remarks we have used 2.js a nice javascript library that is available online and our project is also live at github you can go to tarikulislam.github.io slash coupled oscillator in order to run the demo yourself and finally special thanks to mr shomitra joy for giving us directions during the course of the project thank you i am tarikul islam and i am signing off